Here are our five favorite workshop items for week 21 in no particular order. First up is for a hero we see very little of, which is very refreshing. It's a set for Nyx named Evolution and was created by Farlig. This set only comes with three items, but I think you'll agree that matters not. It comes with a new carapace, claws, and horn. Next is the Forgotten Wanderer set for Shadow Shaman created by Ugly Muffin. This set comes with five items, including a shoulder piece, a new Mason Scepter, an awesome looking crown, and a backpack of sorts that includes an amalgamation of items, one of which is a chicken in a cage. This is a very unique set, but still sticks to the theme of the hero better than most. Third is the Apocalyptic Raiment set for Doombringer, which is a hero I have to say I've been pretty disappointed with as far as workshop items are concerned. This set, created by Jacques Choi, is one of the few exceptions. It comes with a whopping seven items, including a girdle, shoulder piece, bracers, a new tail, headpiece, and wings. This is one of those sets that, regardless of how you feel about the hero, acquiring it will make you want to play him. Next is the Cowl of the Cobra set for Venomancer, created by Ek Sheev. It comes with six items, including a new tail, arms that have been transformed into scorpion snappers, mandibles, some stingers above the head, shoulder piece, and probably the best addition is the newly designed plague wards, which look very intimidating to say the least. Next we have the Bell of the North Star set for Crystal Maiden, created by a team composed of Dry, Chemical Aaliyah, and J. Cool. This set comes with five items including a new cape, shoulder piece, bracers, awesome looking staff, and a new headpiece which gives our icy friend a very becoming crown. Crystal Maiden is a hero we've seen decent amount of in the workshop, but I think it's safe to say that this set blows the rest out of the water.